Welcome to My Favorite Drone Gear. I'm Brady. Today we're looking at an electronic cowbell with holder that was sent to me by WorldDrummers.com. This little guy kind of packs a punch, so stick around and we'll check it out. So a couple weeks ago, the folks at worlddrummers.com reached out to me and asked if they could send me a couple of their items for my honest reviews. Now I do get to keep these items, which is pretty cool, but I let them know that most important thing to me is honesty in my reviews, so I will not be sugarcoating anything. They sent me a couple of symbols that we'll take a look at in a future video, but up first, they sent me um, an electronic cowbell with a cowbell holder. Now this retails for 48 bucks uh, on their website. Check out their website. They have a lot of interesting and cool looking things. Uh, again, some symbols that uh, I'm really excited to, to start playing and, and get into. Um, but again, first is this cowbell. So there are a lot of drum pads available right now and the trend seems to be getting larger and larger. Now that's great when you want a full size kit but sometimes you need to sneak something into your kit where it might not be convenient. Now Roland has the BT-1, which is a pretty good sensor. It works really well, it's a bar, it's a little bit curved, you've seen it of course. It's also a hundred bucks. Pintech makes some bar sensors that are fairly convenient and, and pretty modestly priced, um, but this seems to be the most compact thing on the market right now, outside of, of course, a DIY cowbell, uh, which does involve buying a regular acoustic cowbell and ruining it usually by drilling a hole in it in order to insert, uh, insert a jack. So we'll take a look at the unboxing, see what all comes with it, then we'll have to do a little bit of troubleshooting. After that, I'll show you how I got it dialed in, show you its playability, and then give my overall thoughts. So remember to like and subscribe, knowing that if I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to get a hold of Lemon's top of the line drum set and give that a full go through and see if that's something we'd all like to own. Up first, here's the unboxing. So here's the packaging. Nice white box, thick enough cardboard. Open it up and we've got a single bag in here. Inside this bag, we have our Cowbell itself. So this then will be the piece a little bit loose in here and then I would assume that this piece will mount into here. So taking a look at the actual cowbell itself, we've got a whole no wing nut attachment here. That's all done uh, over there. We've got a single jack. This is made of uh, thick enough feeling plastic. We've got a bar right here, rubberized, more rubber on the top. That feels pretty secure. Uh, this isn't heavy, but again, the plastic does feel fairly thick. And then with this bar right here, obviously that's where they intend for you to hit it with a stick. This plastic feels pretty rigid, but at the same time, I'm interested to see how well that holds up. Turning our attention over here, again, this piece is loose. If you can see in here, um, this is just a threaded rod, and then inside there, um, we're actually tightening it by twisting it. Okay, so what was loose a minute ago is now plenty tight. Looking over here on this side, we've got this uh, threaded top. We have a single piece of soft rubberized plastic or rubber, and then we've got another nut here on the end, so I'm assuming to assemble this guy, it should just be this. And as I'm tightening it, the rubber inside is squishing and expanding. And there we go, that's fairly solid in there. It's going to hold at an angle. Uh, which should make it a little bit more playable. We'll uh, get everything measured and weighed and see how it measures up. So our weight is 239 grams. Total length of the cowbell is about 130 millimeters. Our width is about four inches or 
almost 100 mill millimeters. At its thickest, we're just under 50 milliliters, millimeters. And that looks to be about a 12 millimeter hole. So listen, I didn't even get a chance to play this thing for two minutes before this holder had a catastrophic failure. Let's look first at one problem with the holder before we address the big stuff. So one thing we've noticed off the bat is that this piece is tapered and it does not fit inside a Roland or a Lemon holder. So what you need to do is because it's tapered is go the opposite way and push in. Now that said, you can only get it so far in, which is gonna cut down on the amount that you can raise and lower the piece itself. So this little guy is too little of a guy. It is not robust enough to handle a cowbell that you're going to be beating throughout an entire song. Um, simultaneously, this uh, came loose, what, what attaches into uh, your actual clamp came loose, the whole thing started rotating and turning. At the same time, this gave way and the whole cowbell dropped. Um, it became completely unusable. I had this going on uh, while trying to play. So that's a strike for sure. That said, here's what I came up with as a fix. Pretty simply, I took a rotation stopper from another E symbol and turned it upside down. Now the drum key style tension rod uh, tightener that that has stuck out enough that I kind of wedged it in the corner of the cowbell itself. And then by just putting a felt on it and really tightening it down, I was able to keep it from moving both left to right and up down. And the added benefit is that having it on a boom stand really makes it a lot more versatile as far as where you can put it on your e-kit. So using that as a fix and putting it on the boom stand gave me a whole lot of flexibility as far as where I was going to put the cowbell and really opened up a lot of cool possibilities. So with really no changes at all, the sensitivity and the dynamics are nice. Uh, it gets louder, it's very responsive. You can play both that extra rubberized area uh, where they intend, and then also on the back. I did notice that it's much easier to play up here on the back than it is right in the front when you're trying to do anything articulate. That said, everything responds as you would want it to. I also did a little bit of banging uh, where you're not supposed to, and it does pick up, but obviously it's not intended that way, and you've got a, a good chance of cracking something or reducing the longevity by banging where you shouldn't be. Now the important thing is that we remember that while this looks like a cowbell, it's whatever we want it to be. So you can of course use this to trigger any sound you can imagine. Um, great for things like shakers, tambourines, um, sleigh bells, really anything you can imagine. This is a great tiny little one shot to stick anywhere convenient. So as I was playing, I did notice some sensitivity issues uh, going on with the cowbell that seemed to um, kind of get worse as I played more. Now, keeping in mind that I do have this input split, this aux input split with a mono cable going into 
the mounted tom and a mono cable going into the cowbell. Now the cowbell is set as the rim. When I swapped these cables, the problem went away. So I don't believe that this is an issue with the cowbell itself. I think this has to do with my settings and the settings of the module. So looking at this guy, what do I like? What do I dislike? Well, I can tell you that I dislike the holder. I dislike it a lot. It's not worth it. It frankly shouldn't even be sent. What I would very much rather have seen is a traditional cowbell holder where you might have two pieces here, you could put a bar through, and then a, a clamp, you know, a ring with a clamp that you could tighten it down on just about anything. That said, the fix that I found, putting it onto a cymbal stand by using an inverted rotation stopper and really cranking down a, a felt and a wing nut, it's held up for me, it's worked well. After a good bit of playing, I do have a little bit of marring on the inside of this plastic, but that said, I, I see this actually lasting for, for a decent amount of time. My, my one worry would be that this would break and, and it would pretty much be useless from there. Now that said, my favorite thing about this is when it's on a boom stand, where you can get it in on your kit. I'm actually really excited about using this with my SPD-SX Pro sample pad. It allows for additional trigger inputs, and this guy will fit anywhere on my kit so that I can have that one needed one shot, that click start, that start of my sample, whatever I need to put really anywhere on my kit hide it in between a pair of toms, it can go under a ride symbol and you can you know, tap it where you need. Using this as a cross stick, uh, we all know on the TD-17 and some of the other Roland models, that built-in cross stick, for whatever reason, just doesn't have the volume that it needs to. As you saw where I was able to put this in and use it just like a regular cross stick, that's probably going to be my favorite utility. Um, I might be interested in picking up another one or two of these guys uh, to be able to, to put where I need. Uh, again, when you look at the shipping, the shipping on one unit is prohibitive, but if you place a bulk order from worlddrummers.com, you can obviously get uh, get more bang for your buck that way. So overall thoughts and feelings. Uh, the cowbell itself, there is the design flaw that I feel exists in the actual attachment. I would love to see this more robust and let me do all in one clamping it down without having to find another fix. The sensitivity, the feel, the playability, I think is really good for a really small, light uh, cowbell. This is not a drum. You're not going to be rolling on this, likely. You're not going to be playing it, you know, two and four every beat for every song. Um, I think it'll probably hold up for a good, a good decent amount of time. Uh, I'm going to give this probably four out of five. Um, the holder gets a zero. The holder is not worth putting in the packaging. If you decide to buy this, don't even bother taking it out of the package. Um, find find another workaround. I, I think that using that that boom stand in, in the way that I did or any cymbal stand is a pretty good workaround. If you've got another idea, I'd love to try it. Something that might work better, be a little bit, um, maybe some more cushioning and a little bit more stable and permanent. Um, please shoot me a comment and let me know. As always, thanks for watching. Again, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And again, if we can get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to get that big drum kit from Lemon and I'm going to give it a full go through. Thanks for watching. <laughs>